M. Bishop's Brawl. Episode 5. All Good Things Must Come to an End. The anticipation's over. Saturday has come and gone. And uh, here it is on Sunday, March 15th, and 16th? Okay, 16th. And everyone wants, I guess, to know how I did. So, uh, this is going to mainly be just footage of the tournament, in-game video. Um, so you guys, I'll just let the video kind of speak to, for itself. Uh, there's not too much I can say anymore about the game. I've already said in the reviews and things like that. And, uh, and so we'll just kind of queue up the video. But uh, just to give you a little bit of background, uh, two seconds before my match started, I found out that Swansea from Georgia hit a desperation three to beat UK. Now as a diehard UK fan, there is nothing that I could have heard that would have made my stomach turn more than that. Uh, for the five minutes, ten minutes before my, my match, Bishop here ran down to B-dubs, literally ran. So to watch the game and give me updates over the phone while other people were playing in their matches. Uh, I had a very late first round draw and so Bishop just kind of told me over the phone and here, uh, here I am waiting trying to get prepared for my match. I was nervous, I was kind of a little scared and, uh, and then I hear Kentucky loses two seconds before I was supposed to play and uh, my heart dropped and, and I got a little angry um, which was good because uh, I definitely needed it. So here is first round. I am Dark Link, by the way, because there were three links, and a guy, believe it or not, get this, with the same jacket as me, picks regular Link. Well, I didn't want to be Flavorite Link, or Faded Link, or whatever they call it, um, and so I wanted to strike fear into the hearts of those opponents that were there, and so I was Dark Link. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're watching the screen, because the first match I play a different link, the third link of the series, and uh, and here it is. Right, so here we go, guys. Uh, about ready to enter the tournament. I kind of scoped out my competition. It's going to be tough. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to even get past the first round, so we'll see. But um, yeah, I, uh, while I was at work today, I was thinking, you know, there's a couple things I need to make sure of. Got to play offensively the whole time. I need to play to win, not not to lose. Just remember that Johnny O right there. And also, I better not lose by some BS bomb that comes up from the nowhere and kills me. Well, that's about it. Let's let's get it on. Go back and tell the Jews. Guess what? Benny. Oh. 
There you go, Matt. 50 seconds left. Towards the end, kind of got a little iffy when I got a lead. Uh, and it was very close. He, he almost came back on me. Um, like I said in the video, I played way too de too defensively. I needed to just keep going at him. Exactly what I told myself not to do before the tournament started, I did. So uh, I learned my lesson. Um, and so then I get a very unlikely opponent. I played him the night before. Not this guy, but I played against the computer meta night the night before. Um, because I was practicing against random opponents and I actually thought to myself chances are I will never play a Meta Knight and what do you know dude comes up out of Meta Knight um, comes from nowhere in my second round and uh, and I'll let you guys watch and learn <laughs> Oh, here we go. 
just for like a month. Maybe all things. I think we just put the eyes on it. started out not so hot and uh, but I finished and and that was, that was a good match that was tough um, I knew I was in some pretty good competition after fighting that match I I was got some confidence after the first match got a lot of confidence after that match um, and so I was I was ready I knew the third match was gonna be tough because I knew I was, who I was playing I had watched him play uh, he had gotten a bye the second round is Mario, and uh, and he was good. I could tell he was good. He knew what he what he was doing, and uh, so I knew this was going to be really tough. And uh, and so here it is, round number three. Might I add, um, I it was random drawing out of the people in the tournament, and I think I was the only player that didn't get a buy at all. One of one or two, maybe one of two. So uh, third round against Mario. And uh, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like we got a two for two years, but not a whole lot. I'm just now I got to do that. I think I was going to be here. No, I got five. That's the way I am. I went one year from the final. It didn't work that long. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, my heart is almost 53. I've been running a lot of places since my game. Yeah, I think I've got one of every other class between 20 and 25. I'm trying to figure out what I want to play. It's probably the exam. Just because you can video or anything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've got one of every other class between 20 and 25. I'm trying to figure out what I want to play. It's probably the exam. Just because you can video or anything. I'm a good leader. He's a old Neil Sonny. Yeah. And then they sold all of his gear for getting to the test. He took out all the stuff out of the bank, he asked him about it, and mailed all the money with somebody else. Yeah, right there. Yeah. He, uh, he's going to be able to get it back if he can restore his professions. Well, they can restore his professions, so, you know, 375 or whatever. Yeah. But he can't, they can't give him his powers back. So he has to, now he has to go back and raise all his skin and or dragon scale or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get my other work is about three days. I have some money. I have some money. Yeah, I have some money. Yeah, I just spent like, I took a hit and finally bought my, like, normal now. Yeah. People are even sick on a day. Well, you have to have it. You have to have the writing skill to get fun in there. I would do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're just going to like it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Plus, if I'm out, don't get my and I just don't need to get out. So, if you have a good idea, like. But you didn't get Yeah. Of course, I'm so happy. I had a good idea. You got a good idea. He was all of 19, like level 20, and he's got a wrap for the club, he's a blue club, he's got a 19 bracket, he's got plus 7 weapon damage, and all these plays on it. Yeah, he's got a 40, 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 he's got a 40,
Oh, you should see, he was, a, he was out between the leather and he was fighting like five things at once. And they're all level 70 items. They're level 70, he level 70. He's just like a squid fury yeah. here. Here's half the bar. Wow. I kind of shocked myself that match. Uh, at this point, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. I felt like maybe, perhaps, I am a decent player. Um, that was that was the hardest up to that. That was the hardest match I had played uh, in, in in either tournament. Uh, he that was that was a very good match. Um, when he got that smash ball, and uh, I think that might have been the turning point of the match when I dodged his smash attack. Um, and uh, I kind of just probably hurt, hurt him a little bit, demoralized him a little bit, and I just took full advantage and just went after him. So uh, championship. And, uh, I know, I know, as the title states, all good things must come to an end. So, uh, here's championship, play against, who did I even play against? Uh, um, Captain Alomar. Yeah. I'm so angry, I Captain Alomar. You know, I, I shouldn't have ever laughed at Zach for using Captain Alomar because I knew it was going to come back and bite me. I knew it. Um, I disliked Captain Alomar. I didn't think he was a good player in here. Guy who I knew was the, probably was one of the best in the tournament. I knew it when I first saw him. He, he was tough in his first matches. I, I was scoping him out, kind of see who I thought would won. I knew he was, I knew he was a gamer. Uh, not to mention the fact that he drove 45 or 50 minutes for this tournament. He was on the outreaches. He was one of the winners of the tournament. It was 50 minutes away, so he had to drive 50 minutes to, to get to this tournament. So I knew he was a gamer. I knew he was going to be good. And uh, so here is my match against Captain Olimar. Right. Uh, Alright. I'm ready if you are. Good luck, man. I'm, I'm glad you're nice, because if I would lose to a jerk, I'd, I'd be quite upset. Got a minute 45 left, Matt. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I think it's two. You're all right. Not all right when I'm on fire. Can't even. Wow. You got that. Oh, you did.
Yeah, baby. Thanks, man. Thanks, Columbus. Man. Columbus, yeah. yeah. Dude, uh, I, I will promise you this much. Uh, and in both tournaments, this one, you, you definitely buy for the best player. Yeah. I've only been some beef players. Yeah, no, dude, I, I agree. That's what, that's what I said the same same thing before I came down. So, um, awesome. But not today, my friends. Not today. All good things may have come to end for that guy. But I live to play another day. And that day is two weeks from now. Just so you can read that real quick. District Demon of Dominance. Yeah, that's what Bishop said. Can't get any cornier than a golden karate man. But still, I'll take it. So what does this mean? This means two weeks from now, two Saturdays from now, Bishop and I, maybe a couple friends, family members, I don't know, a posse, YouTube fans? I, I don't know. Road trip to Columbus, Ohio. Now that's about, it's probably about two hours away, give or take. Crow flies. Uh, and uh, it's like the Midwest Regional. And there are 26 of these regional tournaments throughout the United States. The winner of each one of those, all expense paid trip to California to play in the Nationals. Winner of that, $5,000. I think it's a 42 or 50 inch plasma screen TV, an entire Wii library and a Wii system. We're looking at a total grand package prize of probably close to $10,000, somewhere around there, I would think. Um, and all the runner-ups get something. But I'm not looking for that day because, like I said before this tournament, and I'll say it again before the Columbus one, I wasn't even expecting to get this far. Uh, it's been a blessing. Uh, God has blessed me with... Uh, with I guess a unique talent, um, I've said it before, I don't see, think that I'm the best player. Uh, the scary, very scary part about it is that Bishop here can beat me on any given day. Uh, I've got a, probably about five or six of, of my super close friends uh, that could beat me on any given day um, that are just as good, better than me. Um, maybe I'm a little bit better now just because I've been playing a lot, but, uh, but it, I don't expect to win past the first round. And um, with that expectation, pressure is off. Uh, I will go in there in two weeks. I will do my best. Um, that's all I can do is my best. If I, if there are five minute matches in two weeks. If I lose in the first round to someone better than me, then it wasn't meant for me. Um, now if I lose to someone who's worse than me by some stupid thing, well then I might just be upset. But uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, we might be able to get an episode in there just to see how a little bit more training and practice is going. Um, I just want to wish you all for thanks for all the uh, good wishes and the hope and the confidence. Uh, Bishop's been telling me that you guys have been leaving him messages of, of hope and things like that. I really appreciate that. I, I get your X-Fire messages. I see what you write on YouTube. Uh, so I just want to show my appreciation and thanks. And, and uh, if it stops here, it stops here. But... Uh, We'll just keep going as long as we can. Um, so, uh, yeah. Thanks. Guess I'll see you guys in about two weeks. Until then, keep rolling it up.